Well, I have some interesting news for all of you. A few days ago, I did a video talking about the Mutant Mayhem April O'Neil action figures because Tom Connors from Midnight's Edge found a very interesting picture that he shared on social media. And that was this, that apparently there are April O'Neil action figures out there. And this is the only way you can get her, by the way, is if you buy this six-figure set. You can't just go buy her separately, which I got to be honest, is kind of messed up. This probably isn't the cheapest toy set. I'm going to just guess it's not that cheap because it's six figures. So if you're a kid who has to wait, you know, a week or two in between toys or a month or two in between toys because your family doesn't have a lot of money, you might not be able to get this figure. And some kids do want the female figures. I wanted Princess Leia. I wanted Jean Grey or the Storm figures. I like to have the the whole group. So for some kids, they're not going to be able to get her. But that's a little bit off topic. Let's talk about this. So the speculation was that some April O'Neils were being made with a little bit of a lighter skin tone for areas like China, for example. Maybe that's where this figure was going. You can see the difference right here when you see them so close up like this. She's obviously white on the right. Well, these exist and they're not just they're not just in China. You can buy them right here in America. So Mecha Bear 80 was in his local Target, and he snapped this video. I don't want to make sure he gets credit here. MechaBear80, that's his his Twitter handle. Look at this video. This is from his Target. And there's the regular April, or at least let's go ahead and call her the Mutant Mayhem April. But then, what's that one right on top of her? It's the variant, the white April. Isn't that interesting? This is real. This is a real thing. So some of us were kicking around. Is that the, that looks like the old school turtle van. I, I'm not going to go into a Target. So I don't even live near a Target, to be honest. So I can't even go see this. Uh, but this looks like Pizza Fire Van. So this is their turtle van. This looks like the original turtle van. It even has a little thing. If you know what I'm talking about, the door opened up and had like a, I think it was like a gunner seat. But yeah, there it is. Confirmed. It does exist. I don't think this guy went and did anything mischievous. I was a little concerned in the last video because like I said in that video, that picture could have been Photoshopped. But now it looks like they're out there selling two versions of this toy, a light skin one and a dark skin one. Way to wait till the weirdos on Twitter find out about this. (laughs) They're going to be going insane. Why are you selling a light skinned April O'Neil or something like that? Why are you selling a white April? They're going to be going crazy. So, what is this then? So, if this isn't a variant for China. Are they purposely selling two versions of this toy? Now, for collectability purposes, uh, I guarantee you, once this gets headlines, right, once they start talking about this in mainstream outlets, and they will, because they're going to start calling, who who has these figures now? Is it the Playmates line? Let's check that other box. Let's check that other box. Let's see, where is that time stamp? There we go. Do they have, it just says Nickelodeon on it. It's not, okay, Kenner. I, I see the little Kenner logo right there. So once they find out, Kenner's going to make a statement about this, and they're going to stop making this immediately. And then that figure is going to shoot up to the moon. That'll probably be worth a lot of money. Well, not a, you're not going to be able to put your kids through college money or anything. It'll be a fun little collectible 
like worth a hundred bucks or something versus this one, which will keep, they'll keep in the main line. I almost wonder if they're doing this on purpose to create controversy and get people to buy these toys. You don't think that that's something that Hollywood would do to try to make some kind of uh, controversy around these figures to get them to sell more, to get the merchandise to sell more, to get more eyes on the merchandise? That is something that they could do. Or this could be a mistake and no one quality control checked this shit. Or, you know, they really are trying to push it out so (laughs) that they could sell toys with the white one. I'm not saying the other one wouldn't sell. I, I don't know. None of this shit might sell. The turtle toys could be dying on shelves. But I do think something's up here. Got a little bit more of a zoomed in picture with the rest of this video. You can see they're zooming in on it. There's that one. And then there's the other one. So, yeah, that's very interesting. I wonder what's going on over there at Kenner. What's going on? Why are you doing this? I'd like some answers. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this. I'd like to hear from you. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.